what's happening guys welcome back so um, I'm kind of impressed with myself because I've uploaded every single day for the past three days so I thought I just uh, throw a little bit of one of these in there Good job, Jeremy. Woo! today we're gonna be talking about a tool that integrates with your mining software specifically when you're mining ethereum so I'm gonna be using claymore as the miner and the tool that I'm gonna be using is called oh god an ethlargement pill so when i hear that name it kind of makes me think of a viagra for your mining rig kind of makes sense i guess so what the tool is supposed to do is supposed to increase your hash rate and it only works specifically with the 1080 ti cards and the 1080 so i'm going to be testing it today with my two 1080 ti's mining ethereum on ethermine.org now um what they claim is that you know your your hash rate is going to increase dramatically so currently with my overclock settings without the tool i'm getting about 37 mega hashes per second mining ethereum and i don't even want to mention what they say you're supposed to get i just want to see if it's actually true and if it's true it's pretty insane so uh Let's get to the test. Let's see if this thing actually works. And um, by the way, I got the uh, Crypto World shirt on. Basically, like I think two people bought it total. Uh, so if you're interested, the link is down below. Okay, so like I said, this tool is called Oh God and ETH Largement Pill, and this is the GitHub page. I'll have the link down in the description so you can download this if you're interested. Now you wanna go here and just click clone or download and it'll be a zip file. Uh, download it, unzip it, and you're all good, ready to go. Now let me just go to the prescription.txt file real quick. I guess it's kind of like a readme. It says, be sure to leave the ETH Largement running in the background so your NVIDIA noodle can al dente. Are you little noodles ready to al dente? I'm gonna feed you a little pill and you'll be hard as a rock in no time. All right, so this is my mining rig. I just wanna show you my settings real quick, uh, my overclock settings. So I have uh, the power limit set to 75, core clock set to 100, and the memory clock set to 720. Uh, so if we go here, uh, this is without the, the tool running right now. So uh, I'm getting a max hash rate of not 66, 73.75 about 73 mega hashes a second. Um, this is dropping because I'm remoting in, so it's sort of, uh, you know, using more GPU power. But um, what we're gonna do is just look at Ethermine real quick. So you can see that uh, Ethermine is actually seeing 73.8 mega hashes. This is like an average over time. Um, and you can see here the share rate, uh, which is what, uh, 53, 44, 47 and 52 so what I'm gonna do now is go back to my mining rig and we're gonna give it a little pill so what you want to do is uh, go into the folder here right click it and then run as administrator and then click yes and now this window opens up and largement pills, ETH largement pills are currently being served. Please keep this window open and we'll continue dosing your cards as needed. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Oh my God, I think it's working. The 1080 Ti's noodle is al dente -ing. 54 mega hashes a second. 50 mega hashes a second on a video card from 37 mega hashes to 50 mega hashes. They are young again. So, so far, I'm actually pretty impressed with this pill that I just injected into my 1080 Ti cards. Now, what I'm not too sure about is, is this tool just tricking Claymore Miner to thinking it's actually mining at 50 mega hashes a second? Well, there's one way to find out, and that is to wait a little bit, and then we'll go into Ethermine, the pool, and see if that actually detects that I'm mining at a 50 mega hash, hash rate. So, actually a total of 100 mega hashes a second. Um, so, I'm gonna wait a little bit, and before I get my hopes up too much and then we'll see if ethermine actually sees the actual rate that the uh, claymore miner sees all right so i've run it for a little while now and you can see that the hash rate on the pool is actually 105.6 uh looks like the effective hash rate is slowly also going up uh, and you can see the amount of shares i've been getting so 61 66 uh 62 
uh, 67, so it is slowly going up. So it, it seems like this tool is actually legit and the cars are al denting <laughs> and they're actually hashing at 50 mega hashes or even up to 54 mega hashes per card. Um, now I just want to quickly say like use this tool at your own risk. I'm not telling you guys to use it. It was really just an experiment for myself to see what would happen if I were to use this tool? Uh, I guess like I have a question for you guys and you can answer it right up there, yes or no. I wanna continue running this for the next few days to see what's gonna happen. Uh, my card is gonna break, I hope not. Uh, and then to see how much I've actually mined within let's say uh, a two day period or so. Um, but yeah, let me know right up there if that's uh, something I should do. And I, I just wanted to show you real quick, like in here every now and then, it actually just popped up again, uh, get incorrect share. If you see this warning often, uh, make sure you did not overclock it too much so you know there's a potential issue where you know it's hashing but it's getting invalid shares because of something to do with that tool I guess uh, I just want to show you what the temperatures are here so 62 63 Celsius basically the same as it was uh, if I didn't use this tool. So yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, really surprised to see that I was actually able to bump it up from 37 mega hashes to 50 mega hashes. So uh, are you gonna be feeding your noodles some ETH Largeman pills? Let me know. And also don't forget about that question up there if I should keep this going for a few days to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for stopping by and I'll check you out in the next video. Bye.